Hello, I am Dr. Che and you are watching my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about technology. This is video number one. And this is English vocabulary course in general for any English learner, in particular for IELTS and TOEFL students. As you know, I have covered more than 27 common topics for IELTS and TOEFL tests and in general for any English learner. So we are at uh, this topic, technology. Open playlist of my channel and watch complete course in order. Link is given below in the description. Gadget. Look at the spelling is gadget G A D G E T. Gadget is a noun. It means a small, a small mechanical or electronic device or an appliance. It's called gadget. Mostly we use in, uh, for example, laptops, mobiles, these kind of device, appliance, machine. Collocations are very important. The latest gadget, modern gadget, new gadget, household gadget, kitchen gadget, digital, electronic, or high tech. Digital, electronic or high-tech gadgets. This this is very good collocation. High-tech, digital or high-tech. Handheld gadget, pocket-sized gadget, little gadgets. Okay, these are collocations. Modern gadgets like a huge, uh, modern gadgets make a huge difference to home life. They make it easy. Okay. A high-tech gadget that provides a learning experience is always in high demand. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please uh, look at the description box for uh, updates and link to my Facebook group. Subscribe, like and comment to encourage me. Share with your friends to help them. And subscribe my channel to, for free courses on grammar, writing, speaking, listening and reading. Uh, technophile and versus technophobe. These are opposite. Technophile and technophobe. Technophile is a noun. I mean a person who loves modern technology and enjoys using latest gadget mostly young people are technophile and technophobe is someone who dislikes modern technology for example older people that have 60 70 or more years most of the time they are technophobe they don't like modern technology is technophobe technophobe technophile very good word to write uh, for your writing and speaking user friendly a special adjective please note it down you can use it when talking about uh, technology okay you can use in writing also easy for people who are not experts to use or understand especially related to a computer it's called user friendly the new program is flexible and user friendly the new program is flexible and user friendly and is suitable for beginners and advanced users alike it is suitable for beginners and advanced users alike it is suitable for both microsoft is trying to develop a new software that will be more user friendly microsoft is a company that is trying to develop a new software that will be more user friendly when to hyphenate uh, modifiers and when not when compound modifiers are used immediately preceding the noun before noun they qualify they are generally hyphenated for example uh, if it web user friendly is used before website there is a noun is if it is used before noun it is with hyphen user friendly website uh, a strong willed adver adversary a state of the art gadget okay uh, these same uh, compound modifiers don't take a hyphen if they come after the noun they are not joined with noun then they don't need to use a hyphen the new website is definitely more user friendly the new website is definitely more user friendly my political opponent is very strong willed my political opponent is very strong willed the system was state of the art the system was state of the art cutting edge Cutting edge is a noun. It can be also adjective. Noun or adjective. Cutting edge. It is a technology that is most advanced. That is in the most advanced stage of development. is called cutting edge technology. A, a technology that is advanced. Cutting edge. Very good word. Get a good adjective or noun. Please note it down. Cutting edge. State of the art. Okay. Collocations we can use cutting edge design, cutting edge technology, cutting edge products. These are collocations. 
we also you can use on the cutting edge this is also collocation on the cutting edge john's mobile is on the cutting edge of technology because uh, because it is latest it is on the cutting uh, cutting edge of technology example sentences this laptop is on the cutting edge of computer technology because it is latest this laptop is on the cutting edge of computer technology nowadays some doctors are using cutting edge technology to diagnose rare diseases these diseases are difficult to uh, diagnose so doctors use cutting edge technology we need to uh, need to use hyphen when used as an adjective cutting edge technology cutting then hyphen then edge and then technology for example in this form cutting edge technology is on the cutting edge cutting edge it is not and used with uh, as adjective it is used as a on a noun so it don't need use and this is not conjoined with noun don't need uh, to use hyphen hyphen here state of the art is an adjective state of the art is an adjective it mean a product or technology that is very advanced and modern the technology that is advanced and it is modern and uh, synonyms can be latest it can be latest up to date okay latest technology up to date technology collocations we can use state of the art facilities state of the art equipment state of the art technology state of the art computer or state of the art gadget synonym can be latest up to date state of the art example sentences the chinese doctors used state of the art medical equipment to fight against covid-19 uh, modern drones use state of the art technology and hit the target with precision the facilities in the it department of oxford university are state of the art the facilities in the it department of oxford university are state of the art as we are using a uh, we are this is using at the end with it is not joined with the noun so we don't need hyphen here look at the use of hyphen when you we use it before a noun as when you choose this word as an adjective then we don't use hyphens if it is not joined with noun then we don't need hyphen innovation innovation is a noun look at the spelling with double n innovation it mean introduction of new things ideas or ways of doing something is called innovation introduction of new things ideas or ways of doing something innovation synonym can be change a change a revolution is called innovation innovation change revolution verb is innovate verb is innovate and adjective is innovative so as you know noun verb adjective are uh, th three forms so you can vary your language to if you use a, a same word again and again this is called repetition this will lower your score so vary your language use synonyms use a uh, uh, different form of words to to change your language this is called range of vocabulary okay it is introduction of new things ideas or ways of doing something me synonym can be change revolution innovate is a verb and adjective is innovative and ing from innovating and its uh, past participle is innovated collocations we can use a technological innovation financial innovation technological innovation financial innovation innovative ideas you can say innovative ideas innovative products innovative approach okay example sentences those industries which into introduce innovative products become successful in a short period of time those industries which introduce innovative products okay become successful in a short period of time the government should encourage innovation in industry invention invention is the process of making something that has never existed before this is something completely new it invent verb is verb is invent and ing from inventing past participle invented the invention of phone has revolutionized over everyday communication this was the invention of phone that has revolutionized over everyday communication okay the invention of silicon chip is widely considered as a landmark in the history of computer landmark is very important word here 
the invention of silicon chip is widely considered as a landmark in the history of computer indispensable indispensable is an adjective it means something that is too good and important that you cannot live or manage without this thing is called indispensable its spelling is very important d i s p e n s able dispensable a synonyms can be essential necessary needed so what uh, example sentence uh, a vaccine is almost indispensable to fight against covid 19 a vaccine is almost indisp indispensable to fight against covid 19 nowadays it is it is widely considered that the internet is indispensable for learning at least uh, daily you have to need uh, use internet to consult something about your study or learning so it is indispensable for learning okay outdated outdated is some is an adjective means something that don't no longer is useful because it old fashioned Uh, synonym can be old fashioned old fashioned is a very important word for you are listening out of date nowadays this technique is rather outdated nowadays this technique is rather outdated the desktop computer that i bought in 2005 is now outdated the desktop computer that i bought in 2005 is now outdated the company has spent millions of dollars replacing outdated computers okay so if you have not uh, subscribed to my channel please uh, like comment uh, subscribe press bell icon and uh, look at the description box for updates and link to my facebook group so that you can uh, you can i can give you updates about my new courses and other things to answer your questions also thank you very much